Um, here. You have a question for Josiah again, just like for coach, please use the hand raise function and wait to be called on. I know someone's got a question for Josiah. We'll start with Ben McKee. Josiah, what's it been like watching uh, Dalton here this season down the stretch of games like Wisconsin and and Georgia, kind of those last six, seven minutes where he just takes over the basketball game? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been no surprise um, just because, you know, I'm I'm here with him daily. I see the work that he puts in, and I, I, I'm a witness to it daily in practices and workouts and everything like that. But I'm just happy that he's able to do it on the – the biggest stage like we know he's capable of and uh, I'm looking forward to, to you know seeing him do it uh, down the SEC stretch as well. What do you feel like allows him to to come up clutch and, and thrive in those moments? I would just say his confidence. Um, he's somebody who who lives in the gym. He prides himself on his work and you know when you get in those moments with the the lights on the popcorns popping like the only thing you can you can count on is your work and the, the work that you've put in up until that point and so I'd just say it's a testament to to how hard he works. Paige? Hey, Josiah. So the last couple of games you've had, they've been kind of quiet offensively. Kind of what is your mindset in these games, especially when you go up against Florida, who is an offensive team? Kind of what what's going on as of right now and how you're kind of trying to get out of that? Yeah, just staying confident. Um, like I said, just trusting in my work and, you know, not, not deferring from the plan. Uh, we always have a game plan, and I'm always going to – to be aggressive, and I know that I have the next shot mentality. My my coaches and my teammates have faith in me to, to score the ball at a higher clip, and I know I will, and so I'm just going to stay confident and trust in the work that I put in. Grant? Josiah, what do you think this team learned the last two games on the road? I know you've been on plenty of road trips and seen a lot of stuff but specific to this team and the ups and downs that those two games had. Yeah, I would just say – just knowing that we're going to get every team's best shot um, because, you know, a win against us is going to look good on any team's resume uh, when it comes time for, for tournament time. And so just knowing that um, we got to be prepared for every team's best effort night in and night out, especially on the road in hostile environments. But it's also shown us that, you know, we're resilient in both of the games we were able to battle back. We we're only able to win one of them. But you know, it just shows that we have a lot of toughness and a lot of grit, but uh, we got to stop putting ourselves in such big holes. But I'm glad we were able to come out of that road trip one and one. Reese. Hey, Josiah, what changes defensively when you face, when you transition from facing a team that hunts the three to one that's trying to get to the rim, like Florida? Yeah, I, I would just say our, our help on, on the backside and, and up front. Just, you know, knowing Florida wants to uh, get the ball up quick and get shots up quickly. So we got to we got our transition defense has to be great. And our, our transition defense starts with our offense, not not giving up too many silly turnovers. They like to score off of uh, off of turnovers. They have a high points per game in that category. And so just taking care of the ball and also just knowing personnel will be key for this next game. Mike. Yeah, Josiah, with, with Freddie, has anything changed with him mindset-wise or, or approach-wise, or, or what's leading to maybe him looking more consistent lately, both in practice and in games? I would just say the reps. Um, he's definitely been much better in practice as of late, and, and Coach has been challenging him like he has all year, but Freddie has really just taken it upon himself to get better in practice, and that's why I think he's been more consistent and seeing more playing time now. And we know we talk to Freddie all the time about how much we're going to need him. And he knows that he's he's really coming to his own. And I expect big things from him. We all do. Rob. Josiah, when, when a team wins one like you did Saturday, you know, coming from 11 down with seven or eight minutes left, can it have a carryover effect or snowball? Just you know, give you some confidence, put a, put a little extra pep in your step when you come through like that? Yeah, for sure. Um, just knowing that. You know, a lot of teams, when that type of adversity hits, you know, it, it would be easy to fold. It would be easy to say the game's over, especially in a hostile environment like, like we were playing in. But, you know, our back against the wall, we, we chose to stick together and we were able to come out on top. And it definitely gives us a boost of confidence going into this next game. But we also have to realize that, like I said, we're going to get every team's best shot and we have to, to try and avoid those type of deficits uh, that late in the game. Ryan? 
is Zakai playing at the highest level you've seen him in his career? And, you know, what does it say about him to come back from an injury and not only get back to the level that he was at, but even improving without having an offseason? Yeah, I think, you know, Zakai is one of, if not the toughest guys I've ever been around. Um, he's definitely playing at a really high level, SEC player of the year type level. And I think his story is just one of resilience and toughness. And that's what he provides. He's our our leader when it comes to that. And like we he provides so much both on and off the court for us. We we rely on him heavily and, and he loves it. He embraces it. And I think, like I said, he's playing at a SEC player of the year level. Got time for a few more. If you have another question, again, please use the hand raise function. We'll try to get back to you. Uh, we'll go back to uh, Reese. Hey, Josiah, after the game, Dalton said on the big three hit, he said that the, both guys went under the screen so he could hit that three. I'm wondering from your perspective, because you probably guard him in practice, when he's in the zone like that, how hard is it to get a screen coverage to slow him down? Yeah, it's really tough. Um, at, at some point, at, at, at many times, you just got to hope and pray that he misses um, because he's so dynamic uh, uh, with using the ball screen, whether it's to get downhill um, to get other people open or to, to like, like you saw in the Georgia game, to, to get his own shot at the three-point line. So, I mean, it's really just you got to pick your own poison at that point. Like, you got to try to force the toughest shot possible and, and just hope you can get the rebound. Josiah, I mentioned earlier about needing to stop getting yourselves in such big holes in these games. But what have you all learned about yourself from the Ole Miss game to the Mississippi State game? I just think that, like I said, we're going to get every team's best shot, and we have to be prepared for that on a nightly basis. And, and it shows that we're a, a tough group of guys that, that can battle back, battle through adversity, which will – We'll need down the stretch in the SEC, as SEC play keeps keeps coming, and I think it'll be great. I think the first three games that we've had in SEC play will be great for us down the, down the stretch. Ben? Josiah, what, what's your perspective on where Santi's at offensively right now and, and kind of his role with, within the offense? Yeah, I mean, Santi, I feel like he's in a good spot. Um, like I said, uh, Coach has been – on all of us heavily to, to keep being aggressive, keep taking open shots. And it, I feel like he's been on Santi the most and, and we need him to be aggressive. We need him to be in attack mode because he's so dynamic with the ball and without the ball in his hands. Um, I'd like to see him be a little bit more aggressive and take more shots. Um, but I think he's in a really good spot. You think that's because he's he kind of came in as a point guard? Do you think it's just those natural instincts to want to share the ball and set up the offense rather than be the offense? Yeah, I think you could say that. All right, Josiah, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Thanks Alex. Thanks, Alex.